today we're going to be doing a DSG service on this 2020 uh, GTI and we're going to be using OEM fluid and we got this from Deutsch Auto Works supplied the pump and all the necessary fittings I'll link it down below comes with everything you'll need to do your DSG service at home it's important that you get your car your transmission up to operating temperature which is 30 celsius to 60 celsius which is like 90 degrees it's 102 outside so we let the car run for a little bit so it should fully be warmed up so here's our level check and you also want to make sure the car's level so we went around the car with our phone and it has a little level app on there and it looks a little uneven here but that shows level we've checked it on the door jam front the rear so just make sure your car is level somewhat remove the belly pin or the splash guard yours may have one back here ours doesn't so it's a couple t25 torque bits and snap them out so we gotta get the wheel off so we can get the drain pan in the right location Otherwise, we will be spewing oil all over the driveway. Every time Jake does an oil change, he at least leaves half a quart to three quarters of a quart on the driveway. You can't say that. The EPA is watching. Uh, EPA! EPA! Oh, well. They've been here to clean up. What size is the drain? What? No. Oh. It is... Number 14. So we got 60,000 miles on the car. As far as we know, this is the first DSG service, right? So if they did it at 20 when we bought it, it should be 40,000 miles. There's no way CarMax did the oil change on the DSG. But it looks so I'm good. Just, I'm just saying. Look at that. Ah! My eyes! Oh, you, you gotta give him that hook to it! Alright, now we're gonna take the plastic plug out. So this is a main plug and then there's a secondary plug. And that'll leak out more oil that will drip all over me. And it should be hand tight, right? It's already loose, yeah. Right. Looks... This is the cleanest looking oil I've seen. Smells like piss. Oh, that's that's just your underwear. I forgot to wash them with the extra strength. We're doing what Jacob calls the secondary, but I think there's an official name to it. Laying. Probably burning in freaking vegetable oil. Okay. Jesus, I crack baby. What do you got for us now? Well, here's our new hardware for the. The plugs, the drain, drain plugs. They give us new washers for our main plug, and then our secondary one that decided to bust everywhere. And then here is what we're going to reuse. Now this is like a straight-through design plug. Now the transmission housing itself is going to be warm, but the fluid is still cold, so the sensor will read the fluid. So we need to make sure that we warm the fluid up and whatever excess, it should just drip out of here. And then once it's at like a, like a steady drip, then we'll put the actual main plug back on. So that'll tell us that our fluid level's right. So we just wanna make sure that the temperature's right and then the fluid will be right. So with the fluid we drained out, we're gonna put it into this just to verify how much we wanna put back in, right? All right, so we made our marks on the canister where our original oil was. So now we're gonna put our new oil in right at those marks or just a little above. What and are we using for oil? OEM Volkswagen uh, DSG oil. Look at how they spell it, oily, <laughs> oily. <laughs> Hopefully it's oily enough. 
Ooh. Yeah, that's definitely more honey than that stuff that came out. Are we exactly at the line? Turn it around and let's look. Yeah, we're exactly at the line. Yeah. Talk about a crappy engine. Look at this. It's going to make more horsepower than yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're just playing with it. Put it on. Alright, we got our Deutsch Auto Works uh, DSG service kit. Now it comes with different fittings to fit your specific DSG. So it's pretty cool. It just slides in and then you tighten it down and it locks it. It won't go anywhere. And then you got a little shutoff valve. See all the air bubbles? That's what you want. Stop it. And then we'll start the car up. We'll check the temperature, make sure, put it in park, reverse, neutral, drive, and just make sure every gear gets oil in it. And... All right, so now we have the tube still hooked up. We got all the, the fluid in. I blew through the line to get it up in there. So now we're gonna put the car in reverse neutral drive get all the oil through the system and then we're gonna crack that valve open and whatever it doesn't need it will drain out and then we'll be good now we're gonna check the fluid uh, temperature so we'll go into clutch adaptation we'll make sure all this is checked off in the box we'll press continue and this will show us our temperature and we're at 50 degrees Celsius and we, this is within spec for a DSG adaptation, but we're going to go ahead and let it warm up to 60 degrees and just let the, the oil get through the system. Alright, we finished the DSG service. Now, this video was a lot more raw than my other videos. Kind of just went with the flow. It was a sporadic decision. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you learned something, comment down below. If you'd like to see something different, what mods you want to see next, let us know. And I'd also like to introduce our new sponsor to the channel, 034 Motorsports. So, as you know, this car is tuned through IE, but from now on and coming going forward, we are going to be using 034 hardware. So. Our new mods that are coming up will be 034, so I'm excited to announce that, and I hope you guys are happy about that, and they are going to be helping with my Mark IV 18T Build 2, so stay tuned for that, but I will catch you guys in the next video.